take this opportunity to invite the President of Malawi, who is also the Chair of SADEC, our sister Joyce Hilda Banda. Your Excellency, Madam. President Uhuru Kenyatta and all distinguished heads of state and government, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to first take this opportunity to thank you, Mr. President, for the hospitality accorded to me and my delegation since I got here. I bring greetings from the people of Malawi. President Jomo Kenyatta, the founding father of this nation, and in words, Dr. Kamus Banda, the founding father of my nation, were like brothers. Wherever they are, they must be smiling as we celebrate 50 years. Because just six months from now, Malawi too will be celebrating uh, 50 years of uh, nationhood. I'm emotional sitting here because uh, in 1975, I lived in this country. I lived in Kereleshwa. And uh, it was uh, during the time that we had uh, declared the decade for women in 1975. And I want to say thank you to Kenya because this country had a lot of influence on my life. And whatever I have achieved started from here. like uh, Beth Mugo, Charlie Tengiru, Jen Chamoram, Joko Ainaina, that have remained lifetime friends. I bring greetings from Sadiq. As chair of Sadiq, we pay tribute to Mzee Jomo Kinyat and all that fought gallantly in this nation to lead the way to the other countries that attained independence after Kenya, Malawi, Zambia, and other countries in our region. This week, in the Sadiq region, we mourn the departure amongst us of President Nelson Mandela. But we also walk up to the fact that those like him, Jomo Kenyatta, Mwalim Julius Nyerere, Kenneth Kaunda, Kamuz Banda, Serese Kama, Kwame Nkrumah, Robert Mugabe, Samora Machel, all those fought so that we must find ourselves here. But there were great women also behind them. There was Winnie Mandela behind them. There was Mamangina. There was, uh, and Mamangina was actually in prison with her husband. There was Grasa Michelle. We learned from them to be courageous, to take sacrifices. We learned from them to put the people first. We learned from them to forgive and unite as nations. After Mau Mau, Jomo Kenyatta would have taken revenge, but he did not. And so we must continue to draw lessons from them. I would like to finish by saying the little Swahili I learned when I lived in this country, and I blundered because I was invited to a Kenyan family, and after a good meal, I wanted to say thank you for the meal, so I looked at my host and said, Ijakulia ilikuwa takataka. And then I was surprised that there was no response from my hostess. And I asked later, and I was told that I, I had just told my host that the food that she had given to me was rubbish. I have learned a lot from this country, and I want to thank Mamangina for what you did to me in 1975. I shall not go into details, but I want to thank all the women of Kenya for standing with me and by me, and for supporting me to get where I have gotten today. Long live Kenya, happy anniversary, 50 years.